Yeah, that's right. It is cause for celebration, the return of this parade, as you can see behind me here, that kickoff party set to begin here shortly. And that's true not only for Milwaukee's Irish community and for the participants and the parade goers who line the streets of downtown every year, but also for the downtown businesses who rely on big events like this and who've been missing out for the past two years. There will be Irish dancing in the streets of downtown Milwaukee again. I'm ready for a celebration. A Milwaukee tradition, the St. Patrick's Day Parade makes a comeback on Saturday, exactly two years after COVID forced its abrupt cancellation. The decision to cancel the 2020 parade on literally two days notice was one of the hardest things I've ever done. Irish pubs closed their doors, beer kegs were wheeled out of suddenly empty bars, and excited parade goers were left with no parade. Two years ago, it was canceled at the very last moment. We came. We were from Peoria, and we came up. We come up every year. We were here, and we got here, and they said it's canceled. But now the Noon family is back in Milwaukee, and so is the parade, but with some special additions. This will be the area's biggest parade since the Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy. <laughs> and will feature the return performance by the dancing grannies who lost four members in that attack. So we decided to feature them at the beginning of the parade with, with a special banner acknowledging all the victims of that attack. There will be increased security along the route. More than a thousand people are expected to fill the streets and nearby businesses. It's incredibly important to our downtown economy to bring back large scale events like the St. Patrick's Parade. It's been a long time. It'll be fantastic. I hope everybody comes down. Organizers and parade goers are expecting one of the biggest turnouts in the history of the parade despite freezing temperatures. Will it turn people away? No, we're ready. And that was Kent Wayne Scott reporting along with the tribute to the Waukesha parade victims. The parade will also honor firefighters and other first responders and also medical professionals. Those groups will be marching near the front of the parade, honoring their work during the pandemic.